friends. Welcome to another Bible time. All right, I have a little game for us to play. Are you ready to follow the leader? Kind of like a mirror. Pretend that I am your reflection in the mirror and try to do everything I do as I do it. Ready? Come on, let me let me back up a little bit. Okay, you ready? How'd you do? What was it like following me? Was it difficult? You couldn't see the rest of my body. I imagine that was really hard. What was the most helpful thing if, if you, like what would be the most helpful thing in trying to do what I do? What was the most challenging thing about it? So in our lives, just like in this game, it's important to pay attention to the people around us. If we were in a room together, you'd be able to see my whole body. You'd be able to watch what other people are doing. You'd be able to pay attention in a different kind of way. It's really hard to do it when you're looking at a screen, isn't it? But when we're with each other and we pay attention to the people around us, it helps us to understand them especially if someone is having a hard time. There is a story in the Bible about when Jesus slowed down and took time to notice the people around him. Actually, that's kind of what Jesus did all the time. But today, we're going to focus on one tiny little passage when Jesus noticed the people around him and was therefore more able to help them when they were in need. You ready to hear the story? All right, let's do it. Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 to 38. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, there is a lot of work to be done, but not a lot of people to do it. Pray that there will be more people to do the work that needs doing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow, that was a fast story. In just a few verses, we saw a glimpse of Jesus that showed us that he was able to look at people and see what they needed. Jesus' first emotion when seeing people in need was compassion. How do you imagine the disciples felt? If you were to think of a modern example of a shepherd, someone who guides, protects, and cares, what or who comes to mind? Think back on a time that you saw someone who needed help. How did you feel? And what did you do? Is there something you might do differently next time? How is Jesus a shepherd for you? How does he guide you, protect you, and care for you? As you go throughout the rest of your week, I want you to look for the shepherds. And I want you to spend some time talking to Jesus, maybe even listening for Jesus, to find how Jesus cares for you. 
I love you friends and I will see you soon. Stay tuned for a brand new song. See you later. What does the reign of God look like? How will we know it is here? There's good news for all. Love for our neighbor. Mercy, healing, compassion. One day the people were listening and waiting for good news. Jesus said the kingdom is near you now come and follow me what does the reign of God look like how will we know it is here there's good news for all love for our neighbor mercy healing compassion one day came to Jesus and asked how we should live. Jesus said, obey God's commandments, then come and follow me. What does the reign of God look like? How will we know it is here? There is good news for all, love for our crying because her son had died and Jesus said now stop your crying your son will live again what does the reign of God look like how will we know it is here there's good news for all love for our neighbor was lying beside the set of pool. Jesus said, get up and walk over. God wants to heal you now. What does the reign of God look like? And how will we know it is here? There's good news for all. Love for our neighbor. Mercy. And over all these things